Good evening, Mayor Fox, City Council members. I appreciate the opportunity to speak to each of you. Um, a lot of the folks to my right and behind me have really articulated well the concerns about the tax increase, particularly the disciplines and some of the due diligence that one of the gentlemen over here recommended that be done to make sure that we understand what's passing. So I've decided to kind of change my comments. Um, my name is Patrick Miller. I've been a resident of Charlotte since fall of 2008. Um, we love the city, and we've said this is one of the best times we've ever had as a family. I moved here. I spent the first 33 years of my life growing up and working in Los Angeles, California, which has an extremely progressive tax policy with regard to both property taxes, income taxes, sales taxes, and an environment that is extremely unfriendly to businesses. I'm not an entrepreneur, though I did try it once and failed, but I am an entrepreneur uh, worker in the sense that I work for a gentleman who owns a company and through three, the course of three employments in 25 years, I've worked directly for owners. I've watched thousands of businesses and folks leave Southern California and the state of California because of the failed policies that were tax policies that were not business friendly. So here's my concern with the tax increase. We're saying that we're doing this to invest to grow the tax base, but I see no information coming forward that explains what businesses, types of businesses, and specific entrepreneurial adventures would actually jump on board and build businesses there. We can create an atmosphere that is pro-citizen and pro-job. We want to grow the tax base. I don't see that this plan explains that it will grow the tax base. So that is my concern. My, my, I'm asking respectfully to pull back on the vote and give it more time to examine it and maybe break it off into smaller pieces that need to be done immediately, whether it's support for basic city services, such as firemen and teachers and policemen, and not greenways and light rail. Um, I'm very concerned about that. I want to just, uh, at, at, at the very least, get you guys to consider slowing down, not pushing forward for a vote on June 11th, and re-examining this thing. This is a really bad time to be raising taxes. Since arriving here in October of 2008, nearly every week, I've spent time volunteering with a group called the Crossroads Career Network, and I've seen hundreds of people get help to find jobs. Many of those people have accepted jobs making twenty, thirty, and forty thousand dollars a year less than they're used to making, and they're bleeding cash to try to maintain their homes now. I'm a person who's reinventing himself in that same sense, and I've bled over fifteen thousand dollars in personal savings reinventing myself in this economy and have had to support my mother-in-law and a son and daughter-in-law who both were laid off in their jobs and I moved them home with me. They're back out on their own, but we have to get back on our feet so I can save for my own retirement and my teenagers coming college tuitions. I don't have the extra cash in hand to pay you the taxes. I don't have it. Thank you very much.